They say art imitates life. It sort of looks like a helix, which of course is DNA, and that means life. But where does death fit in? I take a color and I spin it with the ashes of the deceased. James Kennedy is a retired IT guy who has a passion for glass blowing. I've been blowing glass as a hobby for 25 years. A few years ago, he saw a need. We live in a mobile society, and maybe I raised my kids in Massachusetts, and I retired to Florida, and the kids are all over the country. What's the point of being stuck in the ground? His solution? Crystal remembrance. Remains of your cremated loved one spun into a glass egg, a constant and solid reminder of their presence long after they're gone. This is a piece of art, and this will be handed down generation to generation. He recently opened his own studio in Grandview, where artists carefully create each egg by hand. They repeatedly heat the glass in a 2400 degree oven, cool it, shape it, then create the helix inside. What happens is the ashes are caught up in the glass. The process takes close to two weeks. Each egg different than the next, a symbol of what lies inside. No two are exactly alike, just like no two people are exactly alike. In Grandview, Robin Haynes, NBC4.